All right, guys, welcome back. It's Phil Hollinsworth, and today I'm with Jeremy and Brandon, and we're going to show you how to take your regular sand fleas and blanch them and store them in the freezer for the winter. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so the first step of blanching these sand fleas is make sure they're nice and rinsed off. Especially coming from the beach, they're going to have a ton of sand and salt water and all kinds of junk cleaning to them. So go ahead and just spray them down real good with some fresh water. And uh, that will get us ready for step two, which will be uh, preparing them to get boiled. What you need is you need access to be able to boil water, preferably outdoors because it's going to stink. Get an old pot, maybe go to the dollar store, find an old pot that you can designate for blanching the sand fleas. After you got your water starting to boil, starting that process on the burner, go ahead and fill up a bucket of ice water. And that's what you're going to use for step two of the blanching process. We'll show you that here in a minute. So what you do is you get the water to start boiling and you put them in there. And basically what you're doing is cooking them. And once they get blanched, they'll start floating to the surface and they'll start turning orange. And then once they turn orange and they float to the surface, you strain them out and you put them in your bucket of ice water. And that stops the process of blanching them. But if you look in here, you can see them starting to turn orange, like this one. Mm -hmm. This one's orange. What's the benefit behind blanching? Blanching them is kind of like blanching your green beans for the winter time or your ears of corn. Basically, you're getting them to a point where they won't go bad when you freeze them. So that way you can throw them in your freezer and use them all year long. Also with blanching, we found that they seem to hold on the hook better. So not only are they preserved, you can stick them in the freezer and they'll preserve better, but the shell gets a little harder and it enables the hook to stay on better when you're casting out. So just another tip for you there. So basically the way you can tell they're blanched is they'll start floating to the top. They'll just start popping up. Like see this one right here is getting ready to come up. That one just came up. And then once they get to that point, all you gotta do is take the strainer and you just scoop them up. All right, you can start seeing the sand fleas floating to the top, the ones that are finished. And that's a good indicator of when they're done. So the ones on the bottom are starting to turn that reddish, orangish hue and we're expecting them to pop up here. Here comes a couple right now. It's kind of cool just sitting there watching them pop to the surface. All right, so the main reason why we're blanching sand fleas and storing them away is because in the winter when it's cold the sand fleas disappear and these bait stores no longer sell them so not only can you not get them on the beach but the bait store starts to run out of them and then during the early winter when they might still have some or early into the spring when they're starting to get some back in they're going to be tiny ones and they're going to charge you an arm and a leg for a tiny little pack figure out how to find them at night it's super simple we show you instructions in my last video and then blanch them yourself it's super easy even i can do it you guys can do it save yourself the hassle of having to try to find bait in the winter stock up on bait throw them in your freezer and you'll be set for the winter you'll get into some nice drum and whiting all right guys now we're moving them from the water they're all finished so they're done being cooked and they're going right into the bucket of ice water to stop the cooking process you need to do that and then after that we're gonna show you we're gonna lay them out on these towels in the sun to dry out because you want to avoid them sitting in the freezer wet because they'll start to crystallize and do that freezer burnt stuff that no one really wants in their freezer so basically what we do is once we get everything out we put them in the ice once we get the next batch in the water and start the boiling process or blanching process, then we'll start getting them out of the ice water. That way we got something to do while these are cooking. All right guys, now I'm here with Jeremy and we just finished the blanching process and they just came out of the ice water in the bucket. So Jeremy, what are we going to do now with them? We're going to pour them over. Spread them out? Yeah, and then we're just going to spread them out. 
just to help them where they're not piled up on each other so they can dry out. Okay. And the drying is for when you put them in the freezer, you don't want all the condensation in there right. to create the ice crystals. Freezer burnt, it's not a good situation for fresh bait. Right, and then it, it also takes longer for them to thaw out when you go to use them. Makes sense. And then you also have a process where with this little table, it has an indentation. You put the larger ones over here and just start sorting them like that and then put the smaller ones over here, then you can divide them, and we can show you that in a minute, divide them into baggies to put into the freezer. Because we don't recommend that you put all the same, all different sizes in the same bag. You probably want to sort them by size, because you'll find when you're fishing in the surf, some days, the bigger ones work better than the little ones, and vice versa. So just something to pay attention to. You can bring a couple different sizes with you, see what they're biting on that day, and then use those to catch your fish. The sand fleas are done drying, so he's going ahead and bag them up. Jeremy, uh, how many do you put in a bag usually, in these little bags? Between 20 and 24. All right, and then what we do is, uh, you can see right here, we have them all sorted out into nice little baggies. Those are ready for the freezer. Next time you go on a surf fishing trip, grab a pack and head out to the beach. And these are great even in the summer because if you don't feel like going around scooping up sand fleas, at least you got a bunch in your freezer just in case, maybe bring a pack if you're not feeling up to scooping some sand fleas or if maybe you're in a rush that day. And again, in the winter, these little baits are dynamite. So get as many as you can stocked up for the winter. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in today. You learned how to blanch some sand fleas, so get out. Go watch my first video that we just did the other day about finding the sand fleas. You need to know that first, then learn how to blanch them, which we just showed you how. Thanks to Brandon and Jeremy for showing us how to blanch the sand fleas today. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. See you next time.